you all to my channel <laughs> if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our booboo -boo zipper dress so this is not like your regular booboo -boo dress this form of booboo -boo dress we are going to have zip in front and one thing i really love about this booboo -boo dress is that it can serve as a jacket and also as a dress so what i mean by that is this by the time you zip up your zip you are going to have a dress and when you zip it down totally you are going to have a jacket and this is actually so sweet and so nice especially when you have two occasions in a day and you want like you have two occasions in a day this is a dress i recommend that you can put on for both occasions like do you get that but anyways what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your booboo -boo zipper dress your shoulder measurements bust waist hip and your gown length now don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs and also on instagram kindly visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website and all the details are going to be in the description box below so make sure you check out the description box and visit our website so these are the measurements required now our shoulder measurement is 22 inches i know a lot of you might be asking that how come your shoulder measurement is 22 inches and all of that now there are basically two ways in which you can get your shoulder measurements the first one is to take your measurements from your shoulder to your desired booboo -boo length okay so if you want your booboo -boo to get up to this point or you want it to be like a very full Boo -boo, that is one way and another method is to add your sleeve length plus your regular Another way is to add your sleeve length plus your shoulder measurement so if your sleeve length is 10 inches and your shoulder measurement is 7 you go ahead and basically just add it together because what you are supposed to have is a continuous shoulder for your boo boo now before you understand the boo boo with zipper I have a tutorial on how to achieve your booboo -boo dress and also how to achieve your one shoulder booboo -boo dress I'm going to go ahead and put down the details of those videos in the description box below so that after watching this video you can go ahead and check out how to make your one shoulder booboo -boo dress and also how to make your booboo -boo dress so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements so our shoulder measurements is 22 inches which I have explained how I came across 22 inches for my shoulder so I'll go ahead Ahead and just add two inches for my sewing allowance i have 24 inches you will also discover that in this booboo -boo dress i did not divide my shoulder into two like a regular dress calculation so i just added two inches to serve as my allowance so my bust measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 11 inches my waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 9.5 inches my hip is 40 inches so 40 divided by 4 plus 2 i have 12 inches and my gown length is 35 so 35 plus 2 i have 37 inches so these are basically the measurements required in order for you to achieve your booboo -boo dress with zip in front note that your booboo -boo dress can either be a long dress or a short dress it just depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day and of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to visit our website okay and also check us check us out on our facebook page instagram page and all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are going to be in the description box below so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial i'll go ahead and open up this fabric into two so guys now we want to cut out our booboo -boo dress with zip in front so note that your booboo -boo dress can either be a short dress or a long dress it totally depends on you okay so the length depends on what you want so now 
this is not like your regular booboo dress where your fabric is being folded into four but this form of booboo dress we are going to have our zip so if you don't know how to achieve your booboo dress i'm going to go ahead and put down the link in the description box below on how to cut and sew a booboo dress okay and i also have how to cut one-sided booboo dress so i'm going to put down the link also in the description box so that you can go ahead and watch that after watching this video so now this is our fabric now i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into two i folded this fabric into two and i also folded this into two now you can see that this two fabric doesn't align you can see that i have about one and a half inches between this fabric and this fabric and this is because this fabric is where we are going to fix in our zip so i left about one and a half inches at this part to serve as our zip allowance so you can reduce it you can reduce it or you can increase it it just depends on the number of inches you want to use for your zip allowance because you are basically going to attach your zip to this part of the dress so the first thing you are going to do now is go ahead and fold your fabric into into four two for your back block and two for your front block so this is our front block where we have our zip allowance and this is the back block which is our regular Boo -boo dress so once you are done with that now the next thing you are going to do basically is to go ahead and mark your neckline so i'm going to be starting all my measurements from this back block where we don't have the zip allowance okay i'm going to be starting my measurements from this back block where we don't have our zip allowance so the wideness now of my booboo -boo dress i'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness of the neckline and for the deepness i'm going to make use of five inches so i'll go ahead now and connect this i have my round shape for my booboo -boo dress so booboo -boo dress basically is actually very easy now i know you might want to ask that what is the amount of fabric required in order for you to fold your dress this way now you should also know that the length the amount of fabric required is simply a shoulder measurement so i explained earlier that there are two ways in which you can get your shoulder measurement the first one is your regular shoulder plus your sleeve measurement or you can go ahead and take your measurement directly to where you want your to where you want your shoulder measurement to get up to okay and it depends on what you want so for me now i have about 24 inches which that was what we calculated earlier i have about 24 inches for my shoulder measurement so i'm going to make use of that 24 inches all the way and you discover that i'm marking my 24 inches from this back block not where you have your zip allowance so this is basically what we are going to have 24 inches you go ahead and mark it all the way once you are done with that the next thing you basically need to do now is to go ahead and mark your gown length and like i said the length depends on what you want either a short booboo or a long booboo you are still going to arrive at the same answer so the next thing we are basically going to do now is we are almost done i will go ahead now and cut out out my neckline after cutting out my neckline i will show you guys what it looks like so guys after cutting it out this is basically what we have so you can see our back block and also our front block so the next thing we are basically going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and open up this back block this front block rather <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and open up this front block where we are going to fix in our zipper so i'm just going to open it up so that we can have two pieces for the front block so this is basically what it looks like this is the front block and we have two pieces for the front block and then we have a single piece for our back block so the next thing we are going to do now is we are basically going to go ahead to m our neckline okay so we are going to go ahead and hem the neckline for both the front block and also the back block so you can either hem your neckline with either your bias or your facing it depends on what you want so after hemming the neckline now i'll show you guys what next we have to do so guys this is basically what we have so for the front block now we have two pieces for the front block and the reason why we have two pieces is because we are going to fix in our zip at this point so 
this is my zipper now i'm just going to place it at this point go ahead and stitch one piece this way and also stitch the second piece this way so whatever you have left at the lower side will serve as your slits okay whatever you have left at the lower side will serve as your slits if your gown is a short gown you have like a smaller slit and if your gown is a long gown you have to go ahead and look for a longer zip so that it can come all the way down so this is what we have now for the front block so after fixing the zip it's actually very easy so after fixing the zip it's going to make you to have like a single piece for the front block so for the back block now we have just one single piece for our back block you can see and then we've gone ahead to also end the neckline so after fixing my zipper for the front block and then i have a single piece i'll basically show you guys what next we have to do so guys this is the front block and then we've gone ahead to fixing our zipper for the front block and if your zipper stops here so whatever you have left will serve as your slit and if yours is a long booboo gown you can just go ahead and increase the length of the zip you use so that you can have like a smaller slit so once you are done with that this is basically what it looks like you've attached your zip and then your front block is just a single your front block is just a single piece now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and place your back block on it so this is the back block we have one single piece now you go ahead and place your front block now don't forget that for boo boo another thing you should also take note of is that for boo boo okay let me just go ahead and lay it so this is the back block which is like a single piece and then we have our front block on it this is what we have another thing so this is what you have now you have your front block which is like a single piece and then you have your back block this way now another thing you should also take note of when it comes to booboo dress is that your markings are done on the front block when you want to couple up the dress together this is not like your regular gown that you sew at the back okay but for your booboo you are basically stitching on the front so that is different between like your booboo dress and your normal regular um dress so the first thing we have to do now is to go ahead now and mark our arm o you discover that while we were cutting we didn't take arm o so i'll go ahead and do that now so we want to mark our arm hole. This is our shoulder now. Shoulder to arm hole, we have nine inches. Shoulder to arm hole, we have nine inches. This is like our bust. Bust to waist, we have eight inches. Bust to waist, eight inches. Waist to hip, nine inches. Now this bust to waist, waist to hip is like your normal distance calculation and i have a tutorial where i explained distance between your bust to your waist your waist to your hip and i'm also going to go ahead and link that video in the description box so you can go ahead and watch that for you to have a better understanding of this so now we have our bust line our waistline and our hip line the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and mark our measurements so because our dress is into two we are basically going to divide our measurements into two because our dress is folded into two our bust we have 38 38 divided by 2 we have 19 now we have 19 this zip part now will serve as our middle piece so you go ahead now and divide this 19 by 2 so basically just like you are dividing your measurements by 4 okay so we have nine and a half and you're marking nine and a half from this part then you add your sewing allowance for your ease because booboo dress is usually very a little free so if i have nine and a half i'll just go ahead and mark ten and a half now for my waist also what we have is 30 inches for the waist divided by two we have 15 inches so this middle point this zip will serve as our middle point it means we are going to mark 7.5 and then i'll just go ahead and add allowance for ease 
now for my hip also my hip is 40 inches divided by 2 I have 20 inches but because the zip is like the midpoint it means we are going to mark about 10 inches at this hip line and also you go ahead to add your ease so you just connect what you have together this way so I am basically going to stitch what I have here and another thing you should also take note about booboo -boo is that you don't connect this all the way down. You can see this is our gown length. We are not going to sew this all the way down. If you do so, you are not going to have like ease movement around your leg area or your knee area. So, it is advisable that you stitch it and you stop somewhere around your hip. Even if your booboo -boo dress is a long gown, even if you are dealing with a long booboo -boo dress, you are not expected to stitch it all the way to your length. You have to leave inches somewhere around your knee area and then you stop your measurement at that point so i've gone ahead now to mark this point i will also do the same for this second part of our fabric also want to mark for this part it's basically you're just basically marking what you have at this side to this other side so at this point now it, at this point now this is what we have i have about so go ahead now and mark our arm hole line place your tape measure at this point and then you mark your arm hole line at this point now you mark your bust to waist 8 inches please make sure you watch the video on distance calculation waist to hip i have 9 inches so it simply means that you are marking what you have at this side to this side so by the time you add what you have all together you're going to have your full front block I don't know if you guys understand but if you don't please drop your questions in the comment section and I'm going to reply to your question so the front block now we said the total of our front block should be 19 inches so you place your tape measure this way you are still going to have if you have 19 inches plus half inch for our ease allowance so at this point we have 10 inches come to this part now and mark your 10 inches right so by the time you check what you have for your front you are going to have 20 inches now for the waist side also you go ahead and place your tape measure i have about nine inches i will also mark what i have on this other side so by the time you place your tape measure all together you will have your waist measurements divided by two so now this is what we have you go ahead also and mark it and then you connect what you have together so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead now and stitch on it you're basically stitching on this line so i'll go ahead now and stitch on this line and then it's actually very easy close up my shoulder so that i can have like a single piece so once you close up your shoulder you just go ahead and m the sides of your boo boo differently you are not joining them together so you're just aiming it differently different <laughs> you are aiming it like separate from each other so you aim the edge of this part and you also aim the edge of this don't forget to also aim the lower side of your dress okay so i'll go ahead now and do that and show you guys another thing i didn't mention about this booboo -boo dress is that it can actually serve as a jacket so by the time you open up your zip in front you are basically going to have your jacket so this is one dress you can rock in in two ways as a gown or you can zip down and rock it in form of a jacket it just depends on where you are going to and how you want to style it so once your zip ends the other one you are going to have is going to be your slits at the lower side as you can see and you can also see a boo boo effect i have a previous video on how to achieve your boo boo and also how to achieve your one shoulder boo boo i'm going to go ahead and put down the details in the description box below you can go ahead and watch my previous video on that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye, bye.